in order to install the remote client software on one of your PCs over the network to connect into your network server or internet server, you'll want to first insert the NetHybrid CD or download the CMS client software from our website. Once it's inserted, it will pop open a dialog. Click on Open the Files, then double click on the Remote Client Software folder and double click on the CMS Professional Install. Once it's installed, we'll be able to view not only the full resolution video, we'll also be able to custom tailor quality so that even lower connection speeds will be able to still get fluid motion video, as well as play back remote video off of the server or even remotely record. Once it's installed, double click on the CMS icon on the desktop to start the program for the first time. You'll notice there are a couple of demo servers that are built into the CMS software. You can either connect to one of those servers or click on Cancel so that we can configure your own server in the list. Once you've canceled out, go to Tools and select Address Book from the list. We're going to click on each of the connections in the Connection tab to delete the connections for the demo servers. Then click on the Servers tab and do the same thing for the demos. Now click Add New at the bottom to add your server in and type in the server name at the top. You can call it anything you want, any descriptive name, in case you have multiple servers. Then type in the server address. In this case, we're going to type in the local address, meaning that this PC is located on the same network as your server PC. This would be the IP address that we got from the IP config. Then type in your username and password, as well as the server port, which by default is 9000. Generally, you would use the low speed connections. High speed connections are designed for if you have hundreds of clients connecting at a time so that the server only processes the video once. Next, go back to the Connections tab and click on Add New. We can give a name to our connection. Each connection can connect up to 16 different servers at a time. So if you have multiple locations, it can automatically connect to multiple servers at once. Double click next to Server 1 and select your server from the list, then click Add. Now you'll see your server name appears in the list next to Server 1. If we want to make the system automatically connect when we load up the program, we can click on the Options tab and then click on Auto Connect. It will automatically connect to the first connection in the list. If you're going to have multiple servers or multiple connections, you might not want to use the Auto Connect function. Once you click OK, now you can go to Program and select Connect and select your connection from the list. Once you've selected the connection, you can cycle through the different servers or click Connect in order to initiate the connection process.